Friends, so we're doing a little video on uh, drilling holes in between the the bearings and the differential boxes and the steering knuckle and rear uprights. So you can oil the bearings from the inside out. A little preventative maintenance. Uh, used a mill for the front diff boxes, but to tell you the truth, those bearings don't really take too much damage, so you don't even have to do those ones. But if you wanted to, you could. So one is on this back diff. Right here. On the front, there's a lot of stuff in the way. You can't really do anything like that. So what we did was put a hole here. And so I dig this dirt out and then pull the set screw out and then I can oil those bearings. All right, just gonna do these back ones by hand. So you get your calipers and set them to about 6.5 millimeters. Because uh, the bearings are four and a half, or they're four, and then the middle section's four. So you go back and then like, to take into account for the width of the bit. So set it to 6.5, roughly. Lock them down and then uh, just use them to kind of scratch right here. Scratch a line in there. And then uh, I like to go in from the engine side because this side you have that the brace that's right here is on this side. So this is the front setup, uh, standard mill, a little stop here for the chassis because I'm doing a couple of these so I want them to be the same. And then a uh, 2.5 millimeter drill or whatever equivalent you have an inch and then a 3 millimeter drill which we take the plastic bulkhead off and then put a 3 millimeter hole in the aluminum so the set screw can go through. that and you kind of want you want to get a long set screw so that it can stick out otherwise dirt's gonna pack in there it's gonna be really hard to get everything out and oil it so putting the holes in these uprights to the rear uprights and that's the hole kind of have to hold them like this because they're an odd shape so basically just measure six millimeters from here and then this is 22 uh, that circle's 22, so then you go 11 over, put a hole, good to go. It's ended a little abruptly, but uh, I'm guessing that if you have a mill, uh, you're going to know how to put holes in things, so that was kind of how I held the, the uprights, and I hope that works out, and yeah, have fun.